Hey guys, I'm Brad Pros with Chilies and Smoke. I'm out here in gorgeous Phoenix. My friend, Chef Rohan, he flew out here from France. I'm so excited to meet you. I can't wait to learn the French way of barbecue. We are barbecuing a lot in France, but it's absolutely different from the way that you do it in the US, even if it's quite changing now. For example, maybe four or five years ago, nobody was smoking in Europe. Wow. Almost, almost nobody. Just people that are really interested by the American culture and the American way of barbecue. Almost 30 years I'm, that I'm coming here in the US each year to learn. Wow. Uh, yeah, the, the first time that I went here was uh, in 1991. And uh, I was here just for blues because I wanted to be a blues musician, a blues guitarist. So I, of course, I did the blues trail from Chicago to New Orleans. I went to Memphis. And of course, at that time, 30 years ago, the only one thing that you can eat uh, uh, in Memphis is barbecue. <laughs> That's the best place and, to yeah. stop. And for me, like a French guy like me, when I was on Bill Street with all those restaurants, and these are only barbecue restaurants. But for, <laughs> for me, it's just a word because you know, we do a lot of barbecue in France, but it's just grill. We grill some uh, bacon, some uh, kebabs, some, some things like that. But Very different. No, never in low and, uh, and slow mode, uh, never with smoke. And I didn't have the choice. I had to, uh, to taste it. And, <laughs> and wow, it was like a revelation, you know? <laughs> and uh, I said, man, I have to do that. In my country, I have to do that. But the thing is that 30 years ago, we didn't have internet, no Facebook, no YouTube, <laughs> no Instagram to learn, to share with other people. So I had to learn everything from scratch. Oh, wow. It took me some time and a lot of investment, but it was great for me because I could come back here almost each year between that day, meet some pit master, take classes, and yeah, I'm so good here. Oh, that's amazing. You've, you've really worked your way up. You're almost like a pioneer of barbecue yeah. in, uh, <laughs> from uh, France. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, without any pretension. I, I think that I was maybe, in Belgium, I was the first one. That's, wow. that's sure. For the other countries, I don't really know about it. Anyway, it doesn't matter who is the, the first. What does matter is the taste. In America, I grew up with barbecue. Yeah. Um, my parents are from the Midwest, of so we, we had uh, grills and barbecue growing up. Um, we never really did low and slow smoking. That wasn't something that was really accessible in the household yeah. growing up. You go to restaurants for that. So I've always been into grilling, and when I, when I met my wife, um, she was a vegetarian, so I had to learn how to cook vegetarian food. So I still love to make my own barbecue, but then I was making food from Eastern Asia and India and all these other countries and places, and I got really sick of making American barbecue and then her food, so I tried to find a way to bridge the two. Barbecue was a great way for me to learn how to make new dishes infuse those global flavors into what we know as American barbecue yeah. and kind of create brand new styles. So I learned a lot um, and really explored more on, on cooking as a whole. Uh, so I'm excited to take the knowledge that I have from cooking globally and learn directly from you on some of these recipes. So I think we're gonna have a lot of fun together. Yeah, sure, we will, <laughs> we will. There is so many things to cook on the barbecue. You know, brisket, pulled pork, ribs, turkey breast, but there is so many more things to do. And um, the French cuisine is not an outdoor cooking cuisine, you know? It's more like refined uh, cooking. But we can adapt it to, uh, to the grill, to the, uh, uh, the griddle, to the barbecue. We will smoke the, the, the pork belly today. And uh, we will use all those techniques together to make a different but great dish. I'm excited to see it because when I think of American barbecue, I think a lot of rubs. So typically lots of chilies and sugar and salt, yeah. sweet sauces. And I don't think of that at all with French cooking. I think no. of very few ingredients, very high quality ingredients. Would you say that's kind of how you bridge your style with, with barbecue? Yeah. You know, in Europe, all those guys learning to barbecue have almost 
seen uh, a TV show with the American pitmasters, so mm -hmm. they want to reproduce it, and they try to do it very well. So they, they will uh, use those rubs and then those uh, sticky sauces and then things like that that you use here uh, for the American barbecue, and we are huge fans of American barbecue in Europe. It tastes good. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, definitely. But uh, on the other side, we will also uh, try to keep our own receipts and try to make them outside. Some years ago, barbecuing was only a summer period between June and September. That okay? makes sense. Because we don't have the chance to get uh, more than 300 uh, <laughs> sunny days in France. <laughs> it's in Belgium where I live, I have more than 300 rainy days uh, in a year, so I have to adapt myself to, uh, to that. But on the other way, it's cool because, of course, we learn to cook uh, during the winter, and you know what? It's really fun. It's even more fun than during the summer because during the summer, everybody is barbecuing, grilling, and uh, you are always invited to uh, families and friends to share a meal with them during the summer, but during the winter, nothing. So it's really fun for us to start that new way of cooking outside during the winter. That's pretty cool and I'm sure you have to get really creative when it's in the colder months too and making sure your smoker's working well. And yeah, it's sometimes it is challenging but uh, once we have a pellet grill like this one, it's easier. It's perfect. 